Hi my friends, hope you're amazing day. I'm Jimmy, welcome to my channel, Jimmy Does A. Well, the actual needle is over now, and we have all discussed in previous videos how long needle and knitting needle are raised to carry down knitting action, or how different camps react with each other in the camp box in the knitting process. Hope you can understand the camps in the knitting system, and for today, we are going to talk about the density of the loop. This principle is not only applied to the flying machine, but the circling machine as well. I'm not an expert in knitting history, but I just wanted to talk what I know about the density of the loop in the textile. Well, the way to measure density for textile is to count 10 loops first. Put these 10 loops in opposite direction with your hands, measure how long it is. If you want longer, increase the density and vice versa. Since everybody's force is different, the length be measured will be different too. But I want to talk deeper about the principle of the density for the textile. When a loop is knitted in the flying machine, the shape is not circular, it's more like the line stretched by the force from the roller. When the force is removed due to the intensity of the yarn, the stretch line shape will be transformed to the round shape. And by controlling the length of the stretch line shape, the longer the line shape, the bigger the loop will be. And this is the first thing I want to talk. There is another keynote, you know, the gauge between needles to needles. You may heard a gauge before about flying machine, but what is that? The meaning of the gauge in a flying machine is that how many needles are placed in one inch. For instance, 7 gauge, there are 7 needles placed in 1 inch on flying machine. 14 needles, there are 14 needles in 1 inch. Well, the gauge between needles to needles is unchangeable. But the density also depends on the thickness of the yarn. Check the thickness of the yarn is suitable to the hook of the needle. The bigger the hook, the more strength of yarn you can use. Vividly described in this animation. When two textiles are knitted by the same machine, the length of the strap loop not only can change the size of the loop, but the gauge between loops to loops as well. And when force is removed, the loops are restored to round shape due to its rigidity. By the way, there's another thing I noticed when I made the animation. Outer edges of two sides sink first before the center part. Before, I thought it may due to the rigidity of the roller. But now I think it may due to the gauge between needles to needles, as well as the density. There are 14 loops hanging on these needles. The loops are pulled by the roller and turned to a straight line. The further off the center part, the steeper the diagonal angle the longer the loop will be compared to the central one. The weight of the force to drive the loops to the center. And this is why loops on the outer edges think earlier than the loops in the center. Turning back to the density. And check out length of the stretch line when needles think. The first one, the density is about zero. The central one is about 180. And the wider one is more than 350, I think. The deeper the needle thinks, the bigger the size of the loop will be. When the force from the roller is removed, it turns to the round shape. For one row, it may consist of more than 100 loops. For one textile, it consists of hundreds of rows. The saggier the textile, the wider and longer the fabric will be. Well, the time to decide length is how far can long needle things. And this is especially applied to knitting and tuck, since I have explained the knitting system in previous videos. But why there are four density cams? Let's use two knitting system to demonstrate. We'll name these density cams from number one to number four. There are another four density cams on the back, which show one side of the cam box. We all know now knitting starts from the third row. The knitting system runs from left side to the right side. In this direction, the right system meets the long needle first. The number three density can push the needle to think. The responsibility is on number three for right knitting system to push the long needle down. The number four did nothing, just to stand by. What about the left knitting system? The number one density can meets the long needle to push it down in this direction. And vice versa. When knitting system runs from right side to left, Number two is responsible for left knitting system to let long needle think. And the number four density cam is responsible for right knitting system. The serial number of the density for a specific row you can change in the software. The machine can then change the density for a specific row. And this is the principle of the density in the knitting machine. And guys, that's for today. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel, Jumi.c, and give me a thumbs up, alright? And you can also find me on TikTok, Jumi.c, as well. And I'll see you next time.